theme of this week's choice board is digital citizenship. We thought this would be a good topic for our next choice board because right now we're all spending more time online than ever before. What is digital citizenship? Digital citizenship is all about how to make good choices online. One part of digital citizenship is online safety. In the real world, you do things all the time to keep yourself safe, like wear a seatbelt, wear your bike helmet, and of course, don't talk to strangers. You must also do things to keep yourself safe in the virtual world. Three simple rules to follow are, only use your device when you have adult permission, do not share private information like your name, your address, or your phone number. And lastly, do not meet face to face with anyone you meet online. Another part of digital citizenship is netiquette. Good digital citizens use good manners and good etiquette when they are online. Always treat people with kindness. Do not post mean or hurtful things. You'll see activities about balancing your time online and offline, protecting your private information, creating strong passwords, and more. Some of your favorite activities from the first choice board are back. You'll still have the option to read for 20 minutes, record your own read aloud or book talk, and you'll find new videos in the author illustrator spotlight and new read alouds from your favorite librarians. We've made some changes to this choice board that we think will make some of your work a lot easier. On the first day of the new cycle, your choice board will be posted along with a video. It's actually the video that you're watching right now. All you have to do on that first day is watch the video. Which you're doing right now. Nice job. The next day, you'll find 12 different activities posted in your library seesaw page. Don't worry. Don't worry. These 12 activities are meant to last you for two weeks and you don't have to complete them all. When you look at each seesaw activity, you will see a full set of directions, any links you might need, and in most cases, a video. There's also a worksheet for you to complete that shows that you finished the activity. And this is where you'll submit your work. You will still see the choice board, but the choice board itself will not be an activity. Think of the choice board as a menu. Look at all the options, choose the one you want, then go into your activities, find it, and add your response. You still have the option to complete the same activity more than once, but this new format should make it a lot easier for you to keep track of the activities you've already done. Remember that you should spend your specials time each day working on an activity from the choice board. Some activities may last longer than 30 minutes, and it may take you more than one day to submit the activity. That's okay. Other activities may take less than 30 minutes to complete. That's okay too. If you have any questions, remember that you can always contact your librarian through email or in Microsoft Teams. We hope you enjoy the digital citizenship activities and the updated choice board. We'll see you soon in your classrooms for more lessons and read alouds.